Hi guys, good morning. Today we're going to be cleaning up um, by the driveway and I'm going to be planting some nopales. And I'll show you something really cool about the new nopales that I got. Buenos dias. Hoy voy a estar limpiando um, the driveway. Y luego les voy a enseñar cómo voy a poner unos nopales. Pero nos tenemos que poner mucho sunscreen y usar manga larga, pantalones porque vamos a limpiar el sombrero, máscara porque está haciendo mucho viento. So there's, it's really windy today and I'm going to be wearing a mask. I might even do a time lapse because you won't be able to hear me very well. to be our new water for our plants that I'm going to show you because we can't reach a hose out there. So now that this big one was put in, we were able to get rid of this one and Alex is going to cut the lid off or cut a lid off so that I can just water with a bucket. Vamos a usar este barril para regar las matas que no alcanzo con la manguera. Alex le va a cortar la tapadera para poderlo llenar y luego usar un bote, un balde para regar. Last weekend, we were out in Temecula, California, the kids and I were, and um, I found some, I always find a lot of beautiful vegetation, obviously, because it's so much more humid out there, but it was a really cool coincidence that there was a construction site on the road, on the edge of the road, and there was a, a lot of um, nopales, what is it called? Cactus, just cactus, prickly pear <laughs> on the side of the road. La semana pasada que andábamos en Temecula, California, me encontré unos nopales que no les miento mi Miden, deben de medir con más de 10 pies, que serán dos metros y medio, no sé, algo así. Pues decidí de estacionar el carro a la orilla de un, de un highway. Y me bajé a juntar unas pencas que estaban tiradas. Y las que me encontré estaban... Eran las porque las que estaban más fácil de, de agarrar y como ven las junté con un en esta hielera con un, una bolsa de basura. <laughs> so I was saying that I pulled over at the edge of the highway and I saw the construction site. There was some prickly pear on the ground and I picked it up with this trash bag into this cooler and brought it home. And I'll just show you where I'm going to plant it, how I'm going to plant it, along with some of the other uh, prickly pear that I have in buckets that my mother-in-law gave me because those are the edible kind. I'm not sure about these, but what I really liked about them is that they grow like 10 feet tall, if not more, and, and that's kind of what I want, a little bit of a privacy fence. Um, and obviously cactus, prickly pear, doesn't need to be watered a lot, uh, and it'll thrive in the desert. Lo que quiero hacer con estos nopales y los que me regaló mi suegra, los voy a poner a la orilla del, del uh, cerco para que tapen un poquito la vista de, de afuera para dentro del corral. So right over here is the driveway up to the house, right by Ariela's tree house.
Okay guys, so right in here I'm going to put one of the big nopales that I got in Temecula. I didn't want to take a before picture because most of it looked like this. We're going to go ahead and start planning. So it's not totally ready yet, but it has a lot of uh, the components, the nourishment that the plants are going to need to grow. So we cut the top off of this, and use the sawzall, cut it around, and then I got a grinder to cut up the edges and make it smoother. Ariela got a brush and cleaned up the inside, it was really dirty. So, nice simple process, hopefully it works. So I'm thinking right here at the edge of the fence, since we have all of these prickly pear already, we just kind of took out all the dead stuff, but anyway, um, I want to put the Temecula uh, prickly pear towards the back. I always like to leave a walkway regardless, a little bit of room to walk by the fence, so I won't be right by the fence, but then I'll put the Temecula one and then the one that my mother-in-law gave me right up the front of it and then we'll have the native cactus prickly pear so it kind of looks like a little step system and the uh, tallest ones towards the back obviously right now they're not going to be tall because it's one prickly pear but eventually we think it'll grow tall Aquí enseguida del, del cerco, no pegadito, pero cerquita al cerco, vamos a poner el nopal de temecula. Luego el nopal que me regaló mi suegra es el que comemos. Y luego enfrente que quede el nopal que es nativo de aquí para que quede como un escalón así, cada uno más alto que el, que el de enfrente. Okay, so I made a little row right here, and I'm going to cut this piece and this piece and put them in here with a little bit of the compost and some cinnamon to encourage root growth. And then the one that's in the bucket right now, I'm going to put it back here, make a hole for it, because that one probably already has roots. And eventually, since that bush, we think it's a palo fierro ironwood we think it's a it's dead and it might not come back so if it doesn't come back we'll chop it down and have a little bit more access to the prickly pear that we need. Este nopal que me regaló mi suegra le voy a cortar las pencas de arriba, poner dos aquí enfrente y una la que tiene raíz acá atrás porque pensamos que este palo fierro ya se secó y es probable que lo vuelva, lo cortemos con el tiempo. Y ya vamos a tener más acceso al nopal este para comer. Ok, so I'm going to start with the temecula in the back. So I'm going to be very happy. If you can tell the size comparison. This is just one prickly pear. Look at the size difference. It's pretty nice, huh? Oh, I hope. 
So we're going to add cinnamon to encourage root growth. Oh, here I'll just dump it. <laughs> Sorry. A little bit of compost. Give it some vitamins. When you water the prickly pear, you actually just water it from the top. You sprinkle water on it and the prickly pear itself absorbs the water with the spines. So there's no need to water the ground. However, since they don't have roots right now, we're encouraging that. Um, and so we're watering the ground. So, ahí solo yo el Alex para echar el nopal que ya tiene uh, raíz. Pero ahorita le voy a cortar las pencas grandes de arriba para ponerlas aquí en este otro hoyo. With a little bit of luck, thyme, the mecula, nopal, edible nopal, and then our native nopales. So if you can, Im if you can imagine, it'll be a tall, tall nopal with really humongous, humongous uh, pears. Then a not so tall but edible pear, and then the ones that we like here that give the beautiful colored flowers.
here's some of the prickly pear that I took off of cuttings from other prickly pear here. And so is the cotillo. I put these probably the first year we got here in uh, summer as well. Uh, it doesn't look like the ocotillo is taking, but I'm going to try again, put some new uh, sticks in there, cinnamon, keep watering, and hope for the best.
Hey guys, thanks for stopping by today. Hope you enjoyed our video. It's really windy, so I'm having to yell. But um, we planted a lot, kind of like bringing sand to the ocean or to the sea or however that saying goes. But we think it's gonna look really nice. por venir, ojalá les haya gustado el video, ya sé que plantamos nopales, nada diferente de lo que hay en el desierto pero nosotros pensamos que aquí donde están, nos van a servir mucho y se van a ver muy bonitos You don't want to joke around with these sons So we just Thank <laughs> you. 